Sam Schmidt's Truck Center Companies, Mankato, Minnesota. We took a little field trip down to Waterloo today to look at this beautiful 2024 Western Star 49X that, believe it or not, is available. This could be yours by the end of the day. You call me quick enough, this could be yours. This could be yours. We've got a 2024 49X. DD15 sets a 455 horse. And for the old school boys, this has got the 13 speed manual. 72 inch raised roof sleeper, double bunk. Walk around real quick. This is all stainless. There's no plastic on the outside of this truck, for the record. For the record, none of what shines is plastic. It's all true stainless steel. Dual 150 tanks. 23 gallon def tank battery box very easy to get to but also looks great factory western star toolboxes not cheap beautiful stainless fenders stainless hangers stainless light bar all led on this thing park smart battery apu dual true dual vertical exhaust look at that all aluminum rims disc brakes 308 rear end it doesn't get any better than this what are we doing? Purple metallic paint, stainless visor, obviously with LED lights. This thing is totally incredible. Michelin, again, nothing but the best. Michelins, okay, air slide fifth wheel. Incredible truck. Look at that beautiful diamond plate. No painted steel, no plastic. We're talking polished, stainless, bright work, a little bit of aluminum, and we got a beautiful, beautiful truck. Taking a look inside the cab of the 2024 Western Star 49X. Excellent overhead storage. We'll get that out of the way first here. These cabinets, of course, open. They hold themselves up. You can put whatever you need in there, and they are deep. Lots of room in those. One on driver, one on passenger side. The shelf runs all the way across and that's deep enough so you can keep owner's manuals, books, anything. Anything you want, you can keep up there. Anything legal, no contraband, but anything legal, you're welcome to store in the wonderful, lovely overhead shelf. We've got also sort of, I call them overhead glove boxes. <laughs> they kind of make me think of shelves in the center, split shelf with the CB already ready to go. Overhead glove box, okay. We do have the cab curtains, privacy curtains, along with the partition curtain. Great, great. If you get sick of your team driving partner, he can go in the back. You can shut the partition. And just to get a little break from each other, sometimes you need a little break from each other. It happens. So the beautiful wood grain dash here, beautiful finish to it with the brushed trim how beautiful is that who else does that you just don't see that in a peterbilt anymore you never have really to be honest they've never done nobody's ever done anything like this nobody's ever done something so incredible with a dash on a heavy duty truck of course we don't even have to mention it really power mirrors heated power windows power locks okay steering wheel tilt Telescope, push it back in there. Okay, lock it up. Steering wheel has the full hands-free controls. You can answer your phone, hang up your phone, interrupt your marker lights, high beams, cruise controls, settings, excuse me. And then these over here are volume. And then these arrows are to go through your screen on your driver's information display, LCD. So as we do that, you'll see on the home screen, it's just gonna show your miles per gallon, fuel economy, battery voltage, outside temperature, and your time. Basic things that you'd wanna just be able to grab a glance at real quick. It's all there. Um, trip and leg information back up to the top, and we're gonna jump over to the gauge, the speedometer, digital speedometer. Then now the next screen is the custom gauges. You can configure these however you want. Axle temperatures, turbo, suspension, weight gauge, there is a digital there on the right, as you can see, along with, we also have it analog old school on the dash there. Um, going through 
there's your soot level, and that soot level is gonna go up, perform a regen, and then come back down. Sort of a soot intervals, I guess I would call it. It goes up, it comes back. Here's your uh, axle lock display to show if you've got your power divider. Unlock it again. There we go. And vehicle settings. So you can run your optimized idle off of this. Idle adjust. I'm ramping it up as you can see on the tachometer. However, we're going to bring that back down now. You can hardly even hear it on the inside. It's incredibly quiet. Have I know you guys aren't in this truck, so you're going to just have to take my word. I've never lied to any of you. It's totally quiet in here. You can hardly even hear the engine running. <coughs> it's incredible. So back to our screen here. Okay. Active alerts, that is not a fault. I will show you that's for the idle timer. It's trying to shut itself down, but by giving her a little rev, we can reset that timer, okay? Diagnost diagnostics, if you were to have a fault, it would show up here. You could go through and see which part of the truck is having the issue. And then engine hours is on here too, or your maintenance intervals that you could say. Um, radio, this is gonna show if you're listening to XM, what channel, or if you're listening to the radio, whatever channel, or if your phone's connected, this screen's gonna show you who you're talking to, uh, call duration, anything like that, basic stuff of what's going on on your phone. And by having it Bluetooth linked, next screen is just some basic settings as far as lighting, custom, like I said, you can configure your custom gauges however you want by going into this and then selecting one, two, and three for each one. We're gonna just leave it how it is for now. I think Jeff Kennedy down here in Waterloo did an incredible job configuring these custom gauges. And you can set an alarm clock. If you gotta be up in the morning, whoop. You can set an alarm clock, very convenient. Here's our idle timer again. Clear that out, we're going back to the home screen, okay. Now we're gonna run through, obviously we've got the AM, FM, X, AM, FM, XM, USB, auxiliary, CD, and Bluetooth. Wonderful stereo, and we even got a little surprise for this stereo. Remind me to mention it when we get to the back, okay? Now, switches. Over here is all your interior lighting, and I'm gonna show you how this one has premium LED interior lighting, which is awesome, all right? Now, over here, utility light, that's the back of cab lights, they're LED. Every, tr every light on this truck is LED. Light test for doing your pre-trip. Traction control spin, you flick that switch, the traction control is going to disable and it'll let you work your way out of whatever you got your way into. Okay, PTO, truck doesn't have a PTO right now, but when you do, you've got the factory PTO, along with that comes with some electronic architecture that can be utilized very effectively, all right? Um, regen off, so if you're parked, you want, don't want it to regen, you can hit that switch. Shutdown override, obviously, idle timer, it's just, we can disable any idle timer too, so don't get too hung up on that. But how about this beautiful, beautiful dash though? Isn't that just incredible? I'm telling you, it's never been done by anyone with the incredible wood grain, the brushed effect here. They don't do that on Peterbilt's, they don't do that on Kenworth's, and that's okay, we like Peterbilt and Kenworth. They're, uh, they're good guys, but they don't do these kinds of things. Nobody else does these kinds of things. Beautiful brushed badging here. Get her in the sun, wow, okay? You get an extra more over here. You got the wood on the door handle. Really, really incredible. Incredibly beautiful, all right? Now, let's take a look at the sleeper in this thing. It does have the ParkSmart battery APU from the factory. It is a double bunk, obviously. And let me keep this truck running by hitting the pedal, okay? Western Star stitched into the back wall. That's pretty darn cool. Pretty darn cool, okay? And we're gonna hit these, uh, to demonstrate the premium LED lighting real quick. Okay, dome is on. Believe that's our sleeper dome. And the ambient, okay? Ambient can be dimmed, so just there. We kill the dome and the sleeper dome. I'll show you. Ambient is dimmed until it's off, okay? But you can keep it pretty bright if you like to. 
So that's pretty nice. We're gonna actually leave these all on while we walk through the sleeper so that we can see everything as good as possible. Again, good size, that's totally huge. Bigger than my arm. We can fit a lot in that cabinet up there. Obviously double bunk. And over here we've got another big cabinet. Up there you can see the reading lamp for the guy sleeping on the upper bunk. He's got some reading lamp. There's a dome light switch for him also that's gonna shut off our dome light. And he's got a vent up there. So he's gonna stay heat, he's gonna stay warm, he's gonna stay cool, he's gonna stay however he wants to stay. You get luxury and comfort in the 2024 Western Star 49X. Microwave shelf here. These are our, these are our um, oh, curtains, we'll call them, for the windows. And we do have large sleeper doors on both sides, just like the last video of that beautiful yellow Cascadia. This also has dual access doors. TV mount from the factory. We pull this string down. And we can move it, okay? We're not gonna move it right now though, I guess. TV mount with the antenna. This has the cable, or the uh, antenna. I don't know, it's a little bit before my time. Not the bunny ears, but the digital antenna in the roof. Built into the roof, okay? Factory refrigerator also for total and absolute comfort. Total and absolute time on the road we're not stopping at truck stops every time we're gonna keep rolling and we're gonna cook food in our microwave from our refrigerator all powered by the park smart battery apu so that you can just keep on trucking all right now over here i'm gonna show you some controls in the sleeper we've got our power inverter up there we've got our power inverter up top okay and an alarm clock also there so you don't have to rely on the one in the speedometer um here's our park smart controls for the battery apu you can mute the speakers you got footwell lights back here i'll try to demonstrate yeah perfect so the orange footwell lights there's also footwell lights up front i've just got them shut off right now footwell we're shutting off and we can control all the sleeper lights there we go all right we've got again the large cabinet over here with the large cabinet above it and a little cabinet down here and also just like the cascadia pull out writing surface eating surface cutting board surface innovative and i said that we're gonna have surprise for this incredible premium audio in this western star 49x so let's take a look at the big surprise <whistles> factory subwoofer this thing will be bumping if you're into metallica great if you're into tupac you can also bump whatever you want to bump to you can bump to in the 2024 western star 49x so Who's it gonna be? Who is gonna take the wheel of this thing and turn it into something even more amazing than it already is? Who's it gonna be? I'm around, the truck will not be around for long, but I'll be around forever. I'm going nowhere. So, if you like the look of this truck, if you like the look of this truck, if you think this is something you can handle, if this has been a dream of yours, let's make it come true. Let's get that trucking business off the ground even further. Let's make a deal. So give me a call again. Sam Schmidt's Truck Center Companies, Mankato, Minnesota, 507-384-1482. Thank you very much and have a terrific day.